with the new spoiler, it's going to be a lot of unknowns. We don't really know, um, you know, the aerodynamics of it, what what kind of setup changes are going to be required to run the spoiler. Um, but a place like Martinsville, it kind of doesn't matter. You could probably go there without a wing or a spoiler, and you would never even know the difference. It's, uh, the speeds are so low, and uh, it's all about just mechanical grip and, and, and making your car turn and get good forward bite. Yeah, we feel like the short track stuff is, is, is a track where we can excel at. Um, typically, uh, I guess in the past, I've had a lot of success, or not a lot of success. I've always ran well at, at Bristol Martinsville. Uh, loud and some of the, the you know the short track type stuff. So uh, we feel like with, with even though we don't have the you know the big R and D teams and the you know the, the wind tunnel time and the seven post time like some of the big teams that we can go to Martinsville, run competitively, uh, definitely run in the top 20, hopefully top 10 even. So um, it takes a lot of the the high techy stuff kind of out of the equation. It's just all about. Uh, making maximum grip for your car uh, mechanically through springs and shocks and we have all the tools to do that. I feel like we need to improve our race car some, get them a little bit lighter which uh, you know a place you want the lightest car you can get when you go short track racing. I feel like our cars are probably a little bit heavy but that's something we're improving on every week and, and trying to make them better as we go so but um, you know, we, I think you can overcome a lot of that uh, you know the disadvantages of, the, of our little team by, by going to Martinsville and we can run good there.